Anytime we have a distribution of electric charge, there exist many important things as a result of that distribution of charge. Two important things are listed as follows. We have an electric field that is created and a voltage difference that exists as a result of a charge distribution between some point A and some point B. Now, what exactly is the relationship between electric fields and the voltage difference? Is there such a relationship? So in this lecture, we're going to explore the relation between electric fields and the voltage difference. And let's begin by asking the following question. What is the voltage difference in a non-uniform electric field between two points A and B? So let's suppose we have the following non-uniform electric field as shown by the following blue electric field lines. So we want to go from point A to point B via the following black pathway. Now we want to find what the voltage difference is between points A and points B in terms of the electric field. So let's begin by asking ourselves what the change in electric potential energy is as we go from point A to point B. So the change in our electric potential energy given by change in U is equal to the electric potential energy at point B minus the electric potential energy at point A. And this is equal to the negative quantity of work that is done by the electric force to move our electric charge from position A to position B. So this is equal to negative of work, negative of W. Now, by definition, work is equal to force multiplied by displacement. So work is the dot product of the force vector and our displacement vector. Now, notice in this case, because we have a non-uniform electric field, it will create a non-uniform electric force. So the electric force will vary when our object, when our electric charge moves from position A to position B. And that means our work is equal to negative of the integral of the dot product force multiplied by DL from A to B. So our change in electric potential energy is equal to the negative of the integral of the dot product of the force and our infinitely small displacement vector from A to B. Now, what exactly is the relationship between voltage difference and the change in electric potential energy? So by definition, the voltage difference is equal to the change in potential energy, the change in electric potential energy per unit charge. So if we want to calculate the voltage difference, we simply take this and divide it by the quantity of charge. So the change in electric potential energy divided by charge is equal to this difference divided by Q, which is equal to negative W divided by Q, which is equal to negative of this integral divided by Q. Now, notice what we have in this case. We have force divided by charge. And by definition, the force per charge is simply the electric field. So we can replace this ratio with our electric field. So we see that the voltage difference is equal to VBA, which is equal to VB minus VA, which is equal to negative of the integral of our dot product of the electric field and our infinitely small displacement DL from point A to point B along the following non-uniform electric field. Now notice that this E is non-uniform. We'll see what happens to our equation if our E is uniform in just a moment. Now, 
What exactly does this mean? Well, we're essentially taking a very small increment, an infinitely small increment of this pathway given by dl. And we're taking the product of this increment and our electric field at that particular point. And then we integrate all these pathways along this entire pathway and that will give us our voltage difference between points A and points B. So this is our general equation that describes the voltage difference as a result of the electric field created because of a distribution of electric charge. So this is our relationship between electric field and the voltage. We see that our voltage difference is created as a result of the presence of an electric field. Now, what happens if the electric field is in fact uniform, if it's constant? So, let's suppose we have the following two parallel plates. We have the positive plate, which is at the higher potential, and we have the negative plate, which is at the lower potential. Now, our electric field lines will begin on the positive and end on the negative. They will point directly downward, and in this case, our infinitely small distance dl points in the same direction as our electric field. And in such a case, the electric field is constant. We're assuming that the distance between the two plates is much smaller than the entire length of our electric plate. So, what will be the voltage difference if our electric field is uniform? So let's begin with our general equation for our relationship between voltage, voltage difference, and electric field. So the voltage difference between point A and point B is equal to negative of the integral from A to B of the dot product of our electric field and our infinitely small displacement dl. Now, by definition of the dot product, the dot product is simply equal to the magnitude of E multiplied by the magnitude of DL multiplied by the cosine of the angle between them. The angle between them is zero. They point at the same exact direction. And cosine of zero is one. So this becomes one. And because E is assumed to be constant, we can take that out of our equation. And we get the following result. And now we can integrate and we get this quantity. So we see that the voltage difference between points A and B is equal to the product of our electric field and our displacement, where D is simply this displacement, our distance between A and B. So this equation only works as long as our electric field is uniform. If it's not uniform, we have to use the following equation. So let's quickly look at the following example that we'll deal with using this equation. An electric potential difference or a voltage difference between two parallel plates is given to be 100 volts. If the distance between these two plates is 20 centimeters, calculate the electric field. So here's our diagram of our two parallel plates. And the distance between these two plates is 0.2 meters. And we know the voltage difference between this plate and this plate. It's given to be 100 volts. So, because we assume our electric field is constant, that means we can use this equation. We take it, rearrange it, and solve for our electric field. So, the change in our voltage or the voltage difference is equal to E multiplied by D. And this implies that the electric field is equal to our voltage difference divided by our displacement between our two points A and B. So 100 divided by 0.2 gives us 500 newtons per coulomb is our electric field between our two points. So, the reason we were able to use this equation was because we assume that the electric field between our two parallel plates is uniform, it's constant. And notice the reason this negative sign disappeared is because the voltage difference between a higher potential and a lower potential is always negative.